James Boley. My major is English. Um, my hometown is Houston, Texas, and I was in a couple of bands back home. But this is the first marching band I've ever been in. I'm Alhambra, California, uh, majoring in history, and I might be switching over to integrated social studies education. Uh, I marched two years in high school, and I have very little drum corps experience. My name is Kira Grandy. I'm a freshman here at Defiant. I live in Stryker, Ohio, which is about 20 minutes away from here, and I'm still undecided on my major. Um, I've been playing, this would be my ninth year playing clarinet. Originally, I wanted to come to school because it's far from home, and I feel a lot in the spirit. Uh, I like doing marching band, and if I could do it anywhere outside of high school or drum corps, then, you know, that's cool being for me, so, you know, I just really love it. This come person out. came to me during orientation and was like, yo, you want to learn how to, like, really, you know, go out there and play some drums, and I was like, sure, and the people were very inviting and kind, so I was like, sure, I'll join. Well, at my old school, we really hadn't marched much, but we did have pep bands, and so I really liked the pep band music, and Miss Lake, he talked to me, and I just was like, well, I hadn't marched, but I was willing to try it, and I'm really great, I'm glad I did. Um, I see the program going as far as the community is willing to take it, uh, as long well as the community supports it the way it is right now, and the school continues to do the school continues to do the same thing. It's going to go as far as uh, everybody else is willing to carry it. Honestly, there's a lot of talent, so I believe that um, in the coming years, we're only going to get stronger and stronger. And as we build a reputation for ourselves, we, we have something really good on our hands, I think. I hopefully see it with more members and also being able to share ourselves with more people. Um, Bridge is really awesome. I can't think of anybody better to go ahead and start uh, the first year for the Yellow Jacket Band. And, you know, she's, she'll continue to grow just as we are, so you know, everything just gets better. She is an awesome person, very awesome. She's very patient, very understanding, and just has a great passion for music. She's just overall just a really great person. Bridget's really nice, and she um, she gets the job done. Like, she's cool, but at the same time, she she knows what to say and how to say it so that we know what we're doing and what we're doing and, and why we're doing it. And she really helps us along. The Yellow Jacket Band is in its first year in existence ever in college history since they awarded degrees in 1888. It's an incredible opportunity to create something fresh, something new. With that, we have brand new uniforms uh, that were custom designed for us by Fred J. Miller, by Michael Cesario, and his design genius. Uh, our instruments are in great quality. They're, most of them are brand new because it's a brand new program. So a lot of opportunities to just create something with good quality, good quality items. The music is brand new. Again, we didn't have anything to pick out of. Uh, the instruction is new. There, in addition to having a great start foundation with the music program with Andrew Schultz and the choir par program, I just came out of my master's degree with a fresh set of ideas, with a fresh set of what modern marching band is. So I think with that, it's really off to a good start. Uh, the quality, I came from almost a conservatory type school. I expect nothing less from my students. So even though we're out there, we're working hard, it's towards something that we'll be proud of. So I really think any musician with little or a lot of experience can really take something out of this experience. Uh, there are students who have never marched before. There are students who have marched or twirled or done their craft for multiple years, and between the combination of the two, we can really bring up the quality of the entire band. We'll have strong numbers, strong friendships. Uh, these students really get to know each other. And on top of that, we're growing together as a band. Anybody really can participate. It's based off of really work ethic. Uh, we work hard, we really do, but at the same time, it doesn't matter if you have any experience or if you have lots of experience. We're really excited to take anybody who's willing to be a part of something like this. We experienced a, a huge flux when we came in. A lot of people didn't know what to expect. Neither did I, honestly. There was a lot, uh, a lot of excitement. There were some people that didn't realize that this was the real deal, that we were going to work. And uh, some of them uh, took them by surprise. But at the same time, those of them that really stuck through this and committed to it 100%, they were pleasantly surprised, I think, at the end result by all that hard work. Um, a lot of logistics go into creating a program, a lot of which I've never had to deal with before as, a, as an instructor for existing programs. Something like this, there's so many little things you don't even think about that, oh, by the way, yeah, we don't have instruments because we never had one before, so you need to go get instruments. So just 
small thing, but at the same time for me it was an exciting challenge, personally, to really see every aspect of what really putting a marching band together is. I think it was a fun, fun experience for me. We had multiple students join during band camp, which is unusual, but a great kind of unusual. Uh, we pretty much, well, we more than doubled our percussion section just in this last week, which is very exciting for me personally, being a percussionist. But there are so many opportunities beyond just the marching band for percussion to thrive here. Uh, one thing I'm looking into doing is an indoor percussion ensemble that would be like a drumline, but it would be in a gym setting and it would be just the drumline performing like a five or six minute show, similar to what you would see with the Winter Guard International Circuit Winter Drumline. So beyond that, there's percussion ensembles we can participate in. We can, uh, I have some experience in Afro-Cuban Brazilian folkloric music. I think that would be an awesome opportunity for us to bring here, something very unique. I went to my undergrad at Iowa State University. Uh, I was a part of the drumline with the Iowa State Marching Band. Uh, I also just completed my master's degree at Indiana University at the Jacobs School of Music and Percussion Performance. Through all my experiences, I've had the pleasure of working with multiple high school drumlines, uh, some college lines, including, well, the, the high school line that I've really recently worked with was uh, the Carmel High School, the BOA Grand National Champion Front Ensemble and they worked very hard, it was very exciting. In addition to the marching experience, though I'm very classically trained, I have performed in the concert hall most of my career, including with the Des Moines Symphony, which is one of my highlights. Uh, I've also experienced marching on the field myself with the Colts Drum and Bugle Corps, which is one of the, the world finalist Drum and Bugle Corps from across the country. I think from where I've come from, I can really bring a lot of experiences from the marching field, but also from the concert field. The idea of getting a great sound, being a great performer for the audience, I think is a huge, huge concept for marching band that can sometimes be overlooked by the minute, like finding your drill, marching to a certain spot. Sometimes we, we lose sight of what actually we're trying to do and what a marching band is, is entertainment. We're performers, we're, we're giving a gift of music to the audience at the football game. That's, that's what we do. I think we have a lot of opportunities with the instruction that we have here, with the, with the support from the administration, from the community. I think there's a lot of potential. And especially with the marching band, after that first show, it's gonna be electric, I think. So with that, I think we're gonna get a lot more people interested. Hey, I wanna be a part of that. Even though it might be a harder working ensemble than they realize, I think some of those students who are on the fence about it will reconsider. I think they'll see the benefits of such an ensemble and I think they'll find it to be worth their time. Uh, especially this first year, we're gonna be doing all the home games. So there will be five different games where you'll see the marching band show up and play for halftime. They'll play afterwards for their own post show. Uh, you also see them at the Halloween parade in the City of Defiance, which is on October 26th. It should be a fun time. Uh, from there, though, I think uh, opportunities are endless. The, the marching band will probably travel next year, especially to Bluffton, our, our rival college. But uh, from there, exhibition events at high schools, uh, hopefully domestic travel, international travel eventually. The marching band is not the only instrumental well, or just regular ensemble on campus. We actually have a lot to choose from. Uh, in the instrumental ensembles, we do have a community band that is our concert ensemble as of now. It's uh, the Defiance College Community Band. It com it's comprised of many band directors in the area, as well as just community members just wanting to make great music with each other. Beyond that, there are small chamber ensembles that are available to instrumentalists that are kind of built around the interest. From there, though, we do have a string program, the Black Swamp Orchestra which is primarily strings, but with the growth of that program, we are actually adding orchestral like brass and percussion into that mix so we can have our full orchestra and do for a full rep for that orchestra. Uh, in addition to that, we have our choir component. Uh, we have the Chamber Singers, which is an audition student group, and we also have the Choral Union, which is our, our choir that is student members, but also community members as well. That is a non-audition group and open to anybody. I think the, the last thing besides private lessons, we do have private lessons in any instrument if you're interested in taking lessons with any of us. All of us are very well trained in our craft and 
We have enough personnel that can really specialize in what you want to learn. We also have the musical theater part. Uh, we have plays and musicals every semester, so that's something for musicians to either play in the pit for or to be on stage as one of the actors. So multiple opportunities for, for anyone around the musical spectrum. Uh, there are multiple scholarship opportunities throughout the music department. Uh, there are some specifically for talent. Uh, there's the possibility of scholarship for the marching band specifically. So there are monetary aids for those who are involved in the music department or the music program. Ultimately, I hope to make our mark. I make sure that everyone is having a great time, which is what music is all about. Just having fun, making friends, playing really great music, playing high quality music, make sure that we are playing together. And I just hope that the Divines community will really appreciate this new ensemble.